Okay, so as of now, we should be taking up a, a decently high space. Um, but I, I'd like to see us commanding our center back. So as this player goes up to try and win it, let's get a little bit more breathing room here. We, we've got a really speedy forward up top here. This is obviously early on in the game. Um, but I think we could get off a little bit uh, of this forward attacking player. And I think we could maybe still take up a little bit higher of a position here. You do plant, you're decisive, but you know the other thing is with the turf, the ball was really checking up. So it's you know it's hard to justify coming for this ball when you're you're you know a good two yards away from the player um, when he makes contact. So I think the mentality's right. I think you're dropping off a little bit early, but I but I do like that you're you know your your mentalities to go command that area. Um, obviously, I think we get away with one here, but um, you know we'll we'll be dealing with a lot this year. Um, these are the types of actions that we're going to see a ton of. So we're going to press. Okay, we've got a we've got a decent little pocket here that's going to force them long, and then it just comes down to what is our our basic defending shape, right? Pressure, cover, balance. We have pressure. Okay, boom. This ball is over the top. So maybe we could read that cue a little bit earlier. Um, once again, it checks up. I think probably your starting position is a little bit too deep. I'm going to go ahead and just rewind because look how far away this ball is being struck from. Um, when you come into the picture, you're still inside the 18. So it is a diagonal ball, but we have defensive help here. It's a really, it's really tough to justify when these balls are checking up in, in your starting inside the 18, you know, coming for these, but you know, you commit to it and credit to you. You, you don't give up on it. Um, you end up getting in, in, front, in the way of the ball line, right? So you make the save here and then, um, we follow up with the, you know, with the ball out. Okay, so we're gonna play direct here, but uh, we under hit it. Okay, so um, now in transition, quickly, uh, I, I don't love the back pedal initiated here by our, def by our uh, right center back. Um, I think, you know, we need a little bit more recognition that this is a we're, we're holding a high line, which you should consume a, a higher starting position here. But backpedaling here with a runner coming in diagonally, we need to be screaming at this player at our right center back to drop in. Okay, so, all right, we shouldn't be squared up here. I mean, there's, you know, our lines behind us. We do have cover, um, but you are aware, you're ready. Um, you know, we handle it well. Next clip. We're gonna lose a 50-50 challenge. Now, once again, they're breaking into uh, the obviously the midfield, right? And with a runner on the far side, uh, we need, this is kind of a panic moment. Now, once again, I think this is something our, our center backs have been guilty of. So we, we need to, you know, consume this video, make sure that we're learning from it, but also in the moment, organizing this to just drop, right? Our body language is so important here. Um, you know, we're backpedaling, we're flat here. Uh, you know, this shape here, we shouldn't be opened up this way for this player running in. Obviously we need to be at, a, you know, in a high line, making sure that we're commanding the area, but we should be well dropped off here in this part and, and making sure that we're not giving away easy lanes to this ball. Um, you know, and, and you're there. And it, it's, I think they flag it for offside, but. I certainly, if you if you go back to when this play started, um, I, I'm not a fan of of our body shape at the back here. Back pedal. Um, I think our our right center back could maybe loop around to find this player. So giving up, um, and not being so tight to this side, but but kind of finding the player to the back side. We could be dropping off more central. We want to allow this pocket for the player to dribble in and not allow him the center pocket. So. Right here, when he checks up, I mean, this is a dangerous game, right? The ball's, he, he's onside, right? Let's, let's be honest. When that ball's played, he's onside. So we just look at it here. The ball's played here. He's onside. Ball's going to be slipped in. 
we're, we're very flat here to begin with. Um, our line, you know, we never want our outside back holding our line. Um, so obviously when they, when they break this press here, when they break that line, you know, this ball's played over the top. We're, we're kind of in bad positions from the very beginning. So if, if you go back and, and look at the very beginning, and there's one common theme here, and it's ball watching. So we're, we're not doing the work early. Um, we're not thinking, what if this ball turns over, and, and where are we? I mean, look at this shape, right? We've got our, our right back stepping, um, our right center back, and our left center back holding a higher line than our left back. So uh, this is something that's, you know, obviously as, as a goalkeeper, we should be uh, recognizing this and starting in a, a very high starting position to try and, uh, you know, try and compete or command the space in behind. But when this turns over, you know, we're, we're all out of sorts here. So this ball gets played over. Um, you know, these aren't the types of 50-50 balls that we want to be dealing with. Now, I mean... Once again, you're you're in a good spot, you're commanding, but like how many of those are gonna bounce your way out of ten? You know, and if we're if our line doesn't get sorted beforehand, you know, we're gonna be dealing with these. We're gonna concede goals. Alright, see how that ball checks up? We're gonna concede goals if we don't sort that out. 